Hi guys, today I wanted to make a different kind of video where I talk to you about what my goals are for 2019 so before I start I just want to say a very happy new year to everyone I hope you all have an amazing year um, so I've been wanting to set goals for myself for 2019 because I've got quite a lot to think about and a lot that I would like to hopefully accomplish in 2019 um, so I compiled a list I basically made a planner spread in my planner so this is my planner first of all it's it's, uh, it's a planner where um, I just track um, my daily schedule um, so I go to university I have to keep track of my essay deadlines etc so that's why I decided to buy a planner um, and I made a planner spread on 2019 goals so you might have seen a picture of this on Instagram uh, on my Instagram um, so if you're interested in like seeing um, like planner spreads that I make and um, creative type of pages that I make or um, food pics I, I do post a lot of food pics on my Instagram head over to my Instagram if you're interested um, so um, I've split my goals into four parts I just thought like it because I do have a section for YouTube goals so you might be interested in knowing what kind of videos to expect in 2019 on my channel um, as well as I've made goals for my university and career goals another type of goal is novel writing goals and another type of goal is my social life my lifestyle and the places to go so I've, I've, spa I've basically split this into four parts so um, Here's the YouTube goals, here's the social life lifestyle goals, um, here's the university career goals, I just I put university and career into one section because they do coincide with each other and I've made novel writing goals because if you haven't heard already I am planning, or I'm currently writing my own novel and um, I hope to finish the first draft by September but before I get on to that I, I'm sure you guys are mostly interested in just my YouTube goals so I'll just get that out of the way first um, so for my YouTube goals so if you didn't know already I have a patreon page and on my patreon I will make a separate um, video to talk about my patreon schedule but I do want to um, make a lot of trial reactions so if you haven't heard already I do plan to react to Seven Deadly Sins the first three episodes of Seven Deadly Sins which is an anime on Patreon for early access early I'd say 15 to 16 days early access um, and then I'll post it on YouTube um, so if you're interested you can get early access for trial reactions and on February I'll react to your lie in April um, so January seven deadly sins and breaking bad episode six and February is your lie in April uh, just the first three episodes because the whole point of the trial reactions is to just get an idea of what um, a lot of animes are about um, because obviously I don't have time to react to whole series um, so that's the idea behind the trial reactions but do look out for uh, a patreon schedule video very soon that I will upload that so that you know what type of videos to expect at least in the first half of 2019 um, if anyone is interested in knowing uh, what trial reactions I'll be doing um, because I want to um, finish my novel, the first draft of the novel by September, I um, do look out for some novel writing videos where I talk about my progress. Um, so do look out for a video very soon where I talk about my writing progress so far. As well as me making a video on how to come up with story ideas. Because um, I personally have experienced a writer's block and I know... Um, how that feels so I do hope to make a video on different types of brainstorming methods and um, how to come up with story ideas because I've literally come up with a ton of ideas for that um, as of course I'm going to be um, continuing with One Piece reactions 
I hope to at least get to episode 700, if not 750, um, by the end of 2019. I'm already quite close to episode 600, so I think that's quite reasonable um, to go for episode. I'm sure I'll pass the episode 700 mark by the end of 2019. Um, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll say episode 750 by the end of 2019, hopefully. Um, yeah, uh, regarding my novel writing videos, I also want to, I want to make like a series of writing progress videos. So I've, I've finished first, the first act, so you'll see a, a, a video very soon on my writing progress so far on finishing the first act and just talking about what struggles I had to face whilst I was writing um, in case that interests anyone um, as well as um, like other writing progress videos as I continue on writing the novel um, and then I hope to by the end of 2019 I'll make a video on beta readers on needing beta readers so base beta readers are basically readers who um, read uh, the second or third draft of a novel before it's published to give to give the aspiring author feedback on what strengths and weaknesses there are in the novel um, so if anyone is interested in being a beta reader just um, look forward to a video probably around November because I don't want to give my first draft straight away to my to my beta readers to you guys um, Because I do want to self edit it. I want it to be Pretty good because uh, for a first draft. It's not going to be good. So um, I do need to self edit it before I actually send you guys the chapters um, Also, I've actually um, compiled I've actually created a series binder folder so this is my folder it looks so good doesn't it um so i really wanted a nice one unfortunately it came with a scratch on it um but I'll, i don't know i'll try to hide that or something but like basically i made a series binder because basically i am creating a fancy novel um so i'm creating my own fancy world and I need to keep track of the information regarding my fancy world. Um, so if you're interested in knowing um, what exactly, I mean, obviously I'm not going to spoil you guys, obviously, but like, um, just to like flip through, like create a flip through video of just briefly explaining the type of content to include in your series binder or series bible whatever you want to call it um so yeah um look forward to a video on that i do sometimes um shop and i do sometimes buy really cool items so i do hope to make more shopping haul videos i've noticed that a lot of people were actually interested in the shopping haul video that i made so i'll definitely um create at least one probably two um in 2019 um to show you guys what i bought um also um maybe an unboxing video actually i will create an unboxing video because i have s subscribed to i've ordered a box um it's the zen pop stationery box you guys know how much i love stationery so um if you didn't know i mean um so i I want I ordered a Zenbop stationery box um for the January the, the month of January um just to like see what kind of items I'll get cuz I love stationery <clears throat> so I'm sure I'm going to make very good use of it um regardless and um yeah I'll make an unboxing video of me showing you the items in the January box of that um I'll also make more Q&A videos um when I when I hit certain subscriber counts, um, so maybe one for 20,000, when I hit 20,000 subscribers, I might make a Q&A video, I'm not sure, um, or do another type of subscriber special. Um, 
Uh, oh yeah, I remember now. So I will make another anime openings reaction video. So um, if you haven't known already, I made an anime openings reaction video like a few months ago and a lot of you guys enjoyed that. So basically I just reacted to a lot of anime openings. I think nine anime openings. So I'll do another nine anime openings based on the... Um, on the on the anime re opening request that you, you guys gave in the comment section. So do look forward to that. Um, I, I might do that when I hit, when I hit um, 15,000 subscribers. I did say that. Yeah, when I hit 15,000 subscribers, I'll do another anime openings reaction video. Of course, I'll also be um, continuing with Avatar and finishing Avatar and I think um, most probably we'll react to Legend of Korra straight after that um, instead of making a pot. I think it just it just makes more sense to react to its sequel straight away otherwise I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna forget certain information if I was to delay Legend of Korra um, so yeah I'll probably will react to Legend of Korra straight after Avatar and then after Legend of Korra I'll make a poll a lot of people have requested My Hero Academia um, so I might react to that in 2019 the end-ish of 2019 um, but I would like to make a poll just to like be just, because it's all about what you guys want like the majority of you guys want um, but I did also get requests for Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Yu Yu Hakusho and other animes. So yeah, I'll probably just make a poll after Legend of Korra. Um, I also wanted to make a, my, my stationery collection video. Um, so my stationery collection video, um, so, so I, as you guys know, I've just said already that I do love stationery and um, I just post a picture here of my um what do I call this it's a it's a 10 drawer trolley that I actually bought recently and the reason why I bought it is because I've got a lot of stationery at least to me it seems quite a lot so I had to store it in some way rather than keeping it in boxes um, so I thought it, it looked really good and it looks really good it really does um, so I wanted to make a video to show you guys my collection but that will be like probably in the summer maybe that I'll make a video on that um, so yeah um, I might I'm not entirely sure but I might make another video where I taste East Asian sweets so there's a store there's a East Asian um, supermarket um, that is fairly close to me and I might buy more East Asian products from there just to try out on camera so I did actually make a video on that a long time ago so I might make another one in 2019 I don't know um if i have the time i'll do that so it's quite fun like tasting sweets on camera so yeah um okay so those are the youtube goals that like, i've just listed down like what i could think of um to list down so for university and career goals i definitely need to finish my essays slash assignments before the deadlines i also would love to graduate in 2019 so hopefully it's a good year for me a good academic year i am in my third year of university so um i hope i graduate with a 2-1 my aim is to get a 2-1 um and to undertake a primary pgce um so at the moment i'm currently um applying uh to applying for through UCAS to undertake a primary PGCE I just need to finish my personal statement and then I can submit my application for a primary PGCE because I do want to be a primary school supply teacher 
I currently do tutoring and volunteering so I'm just going to continue doing the tutoring and the volunteering that I'm doing at the moment so basically I'm volunteering it is it's actually an assignment uh, for one of my um, course modules um, to actually um, volunteer to actually gain a work placement of um, something to do with like teaching people um, so I'm volunteering for this educational charity at the moment so I hope to stay with them until the summer then in the summer I hope to get an actual part-time tutoring job um, I mean I'm doing tutoring now but it's like private tuition so I hope to get a part-time tutoring job for a tuition centre probably um, I mean we'll see but yeah yeah that, that's um yeah during summer um so uh novel writing goals um so as i said before i need to finish my first draft by september um on average i'm not a fast worker at all i procrastinate a lot um so that's why i um actually i'm gonna show you my um chapter tracker i was supposed to show this in another video but i just thought it just coincides with this so basically i just made this um template chapter tracker template where i just list down my goals for what for what dates to complete a chapter um so the stickers are when i actually meet my deadlines for when i complete chapters it's just to help me stick to deadlines because as i said i procrastinate a lot um so I'll make a separate video regarding this chapter tracker so that I can like post the, the worksheet for you guys um, if anyone's interested. Um, so I was supposed to complete chapter 15 by um, before 2019 but I'm still at the beginning of chapter 15 so I have not met my goal to finish chapter 15 by the 31st of december um so but i i mean in general i just hope i complete the whole first draft by september um so by the end of of, of august um <clears throat> yeah um so um i also created a wordpress website recently um so that i can make blog posts on my writing progress and giving advice regarding um novel writing because I am going through it myself so I've got a lot of tips to share um, so yeah I'll be making blog posts and posting the blog posts to coincide with the novel writing videos so that there are video formats that basically say the same type of information as the blog posts so they both will coincide with each other so you'll see like links of the blog post under the novel writing videos that I make um, for like a written format um, so after I finish the first draft I want to print out the first draft and then annotate it because as I said before I don't want to send you guys the first draft straight away because it's not going to be good um, so I want to correct whatever mistakes I've made regarding plot, character development, um, world building, consistency issues, grammar, spelling errors, that sort of stuff um, and then I'll send it to you guys if anyone's interested in becoming a beta reader um, and then um, so yeah as I said with the series binder here um, I just want to add more notes to it. I've only just recently added some stuff in. Um, so I just I hope to compile more notes, more detailed notes. Because I do need to flesh out the magic system particularly. Um, as well as a few other things and character backstories as well. Um, so yeah... It's all a work in progress. So that's my novel writing goals. I'll now go on to the last type of goals I just want to talk about, which is social life slash places to go slash lifestyle goals. Um, I didn't know what type of name to give this type of goal, so I just put different names. So the first one is um, 
I, I just I just like eating at new restaurants that I go to and restaurants in general with my friends. So I do like hanging out with my friends and going to new places and eating different types of food as well. Um, it's all an experience. So I hope to go to um, other bubble tea places. There's actually a new bubble tea place that's close to me. So and I still haven't gone to that bubble tea shop. So and I love bu bubble tea. Um, comment below if you love bubble tea too because it's just it's so good isn't it it's so delicious um, I also want to go to Motown Motown is a type of dessert restaurant they have a couple of branches here in the UK um, and the, there is one like right next to my house and I only like realized like recently um, so um, yeah I, I just I just want to like um, eat um, <laughs> I want to eat new types of food um, so you know um, exploring different types of food that I haven't eaten before um, that I haven't tried before um, I also for like places to go um, I would love to go to Winter Wonderland or Chinatown I'd love to go to Fort Park but realistically speaking anything quite close by um, so Winter Wonderland is basically a tourist attraction here in London um, so it's like a Christmas themed slash winter themed type of um, theme park slash tourist attraction so there's a lot of rides there but apparently it's really expensive but I believe to at least enter it is free um, and I believe they have like shops there as well so yeah um yeah that's that um this is a bit personal but i'd love to clear my acne in 2019 because at the moment i've been struggling a bit with trying to control this mess um so um yeah it's just about keeping control of certain conditions that i have um so i have um eczema I've said this before but I do have eczema as well as acne the eczema is actually in control it's the acne that I do need to um, control um, anyway um, I'd love to learn to cook Bengali slash Indian food yeah um, don't scold me please I don't know how to cook not really like, I can cook pasta but I'd love to like I love to make chickpea curry I've actually attempted to make shakshuka and it was pretty good. It wasn't too bad for a first attempt. Um, so I'd love to like experiment with and making new food. Food that I haven't made before. Um, so yeah, those are my goals for 2019. At least like the main ones, the ones that I could think of. Um, let me know in the comment section what your goals are for 2019 and let me know if you have any new year resolutions personally I don't do the whole new year resolution thing with new year new me but to each their own um, I, do, I, I have a lot of goals though um, so let me know what your goals are in the comment section and um, stay tuned for more